In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a extra fee to your cash and delivery payment method on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> okay, so here we are on our demo site and we've got a few different payment methods enabled, okay? So here you can see when we're paying by direct bank transfer, there's no extra fee being applied. But when we select cash and delivery, here we've got a processing fee being applied, okay? And here we can change the text of this word as well and we can decide on how we want to actually apply this particular field. In my situation, I'm adding a 10% charge um, based on a cart total, okay? You can add a fixed amount if you want, but I'll show you how to do this um, later on. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click Activate. Once you've entered in your key, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section here. And then from here, we just need to go ahead and enable this option, okay? So with that being said, we can go ahead and now configure our custom pricing for our cash and delivery payment method. So I'm just going to click Manage. And then we just want to navigate over to where it says checkout fees, okay? Okay, and I've already created a rule beforehand. But in your case, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and click add pricing group, okay? And then it will look exactly like this. So I'm going to delete this one and then I'm going to walk you through what's going on. Okay, so first we've got the title. Again, this is just for internal purposes. So in the event that you've got multiple different rules running, it makes sense to be able to identify what each rule is doing at a glance. Okay, so as I said, this is just for internal purposes. And here I've just said fee for cash and delivery. Okay, and then here where it says checkout fee label, this is where we can customize that label. Okay, so we could say cash and delivery fee, for example instead I've just set this to processing fee okay where it says apply we can ignore this option but you only want to enable this option if let's say for example you wanted to trigger this fee whenever a customer use a particular coupon code it doesn't make sense for this particular example okay so we can charge the fee based on the cart total or the cart item so the number of items within the cart okay okay and then we can choose the type so we can choose um, a percentage adjustment or a fixed amount so in this situation we're basically saying we're going to charge 10% um, based on a cart total or we can just add a fixed fee okay so we could say for example $25 okay so whenever a customer wants to pay cash and delivery we can just charge a simple $25 fee or even a five dollars fee for example okay and then here where it says condition we want to make sure we select payment method and then we'll select in and then here we'll just select the payment method in which we want to apply this fee to in this situation we'll just select cash and delivery okay so let's go ahead and save changes okay and now let's go ahead and refresh our checkout page to test our rule okay Okay, so again, when we select cash and delivery, this time here we can see a fixed fee being charged of $5, okay? And this is what we specified on the back end. And this fee is automatically included in the product total, okay? So the customer knows exactly how much they'll be paying. And that's a quick and simple way to add a cash and delivery fee on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.